flagging off the new improved seeds and Nyaga, Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives, said cotton production in the country will experience a rebound significantly, improving cotton farmers' earnings. There are currently about uh, 30,000 cotton uh, farmers, while the industry can be able to support over 200,000 farmers. The seeds are expected to be distributed to Busia, Bungoma, Siaya, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Baringo, Elgeo Marakwet, Kilifi, Kwale, Tana River and Lamu counties. The cotton farmers in these regions are expected to reap big as cotton production is projected to grow from a current low of 29,000 bales per year to about 200,000 bales by the year 2020. Under the presidential Big Four agenda, the government has several initiatives that include import, uh, input support, access and development of improved seeds, price support, construction of seed cotton buying centers, strengthening and formation of farmer cotton cooperatives and organizations. The CAS pointed out that this will revive the slowly dying textile industry, which was affected by constraints in the cotton production. Key among them is the inadequate extension services, insufficient integration of the value chain, the high cost of production, lack of certified seeds, and lack of affordable credit. Other challenges include fluctuation of seed cotton prices, weak farm organizations, low production and productivity, and obsolete equipment. Kenya's textile exports enjoy quarter and duty-free access to the USA market under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, AGO, in addition to other preferential treatment in EU and COMESA markets. 720 demonstration sites of BT cotton in the same counties where non-BT hybrid seed will be grown for teaching farmers and extension service providers from all over the country. BT cotton is an insect-resistant transgenic crop designed to combat the the ballworm. The technical program which is in, has been put in place to ensure that all the time the products that the farmers get are resistant to the ballworm. Well, according to the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, the industry has the ability to employ 1.5 million people under the cotton, textile and clothing value chain. Winnie Lubembe for Ebru TV.